Good news world, we have the one and only prophet Ubuk Angel all the way from London here in Tanzania. Welcome so much in Tanzania. Well, we all know that uh, the arrival of a prophet signals a new season. And it is your first time to be in Tanzania, right? What can the people of this nation expect of this visit? I think um, what I have to say, of course, uh, Tanzania um, is not a country that is new to Christianity. So I'm not here to introduce Christianity. I'm here to compliment other luminaries um, in the spirit. There are so many luminaries. Of course, there is Pastor Tony, uh, a, a great a great general, and he's really, really rising, and a lot of things and are happening. Sorrows are being said, which is the most important part. But the most important part for us to understand is Gibber Angel is not coming here to introduce a new Jesus. There are so many men of God, generals that were here, that are still here. Some are still uh, in the field and digging the trenches. So I'm just here to compliment. Just like he's here to compliment, not to compete with anybody. So we're here to just bring a certain play where we bring Jesus as a lifestyle. Glory to God. And I personally believe that everything happens for a reason. And every season is divinely ordained by God. How do you feel now here in Tanzania with your spiritual sound? How does that make you feel? It's really a glorious moment to see God in action because He has been doing a lot to try to prove to the people the reality of God's existence. You know, there's a big difference in just preaching. Then there is a preaching that proves to people that God exists. And He's been doing that. He's been doing that practical. He's got business lessons. He teaches the youth so that they know we are not just here to say, okay, get a miracle financially. We are also trying to say God loves a person who works with His hands. So it's very, very important what he has been doing with women, with charities, giving to the poor, you know, less privileged and the marginalized in our society. So it was very, very good. Amen, when we appreciate all that. My last question is, I remember this year on March, you prophesied to Pastor Tony Capola. And one of the things that you mentioned is that Tanzania is a sleeping giant. And Pastor Tony, he's going to be used by God to awaken the giant, right? But I also believe that uh, prophecy takes two. I believe as Tanzanians, we also have a part to play for that prophecy to be fulfilled, right? Now, we would love to know, what can Tanzanians do? What is one thing that we can do as Tanzanians so that we can awaken the giant and, of course, bring the change that is needed? I would say uh, the only thing that we can have, as I've always said and even in our discussions with Pastor Tony, is in the balance sheet of God, He can't give you a car, He can't give you a house, He can only give you Jesus. But when you are with Jesus, everything else will be added unto you. So I think Tanzania is on a trajectory. They're already doing what they need to do, especially Tanzanians. There is a certain love for God. And there is a flair that Tanzania has actually risen to a point where they are not they are not thinking of competing with anybody. They are actually there on top there and they are rising. And which is very, very good. You see the youth, you can see the way, the way the youth are actually seeing the future. They have a certain expectation that you can see in the eyes of the youth and the youth. Even the grown ups, they're actually trying to mentor the youth. And trust me, Tanzania is actually going 